Debbie leaves its mark as Montreal inundated with record amount of rainfall. As expected, post-tropical storm Debbie left large amounts of water in its wake as the greater Montreal area received a record amount of rain with an accumulation of 150 mm in the space of 24 hours, according to Environment and Climate Change Canada ECCC, the amount far exceeded the 94 mm of rain, on average, normally recorded during the entire month of August in the Montreal region. Preliminary data published at 9 p.m. by Environment Canada showed accumulation of 157 millimeters of rain in the Montreal region, Dorville, 145 millimeters in downtown Montreal and 173 millimeters in Assis and Bellevue in the west of the island. On social media, many people reported flooding in their homes in the Estiloron borough, Beaconsfield and Dollar Desormo Civic Center took on several inches of water. Christine Guerrera, a Beaconsfield resident, said the basement of her home on Montrose Estate was flooded with more than a foot of water early Friday evening. I'm bailing and mopping now, she told the Gazette on Saturday afternoon. It's gone down quite a bit, but it's a total disaster, a disaster. She said it appears many of the other residents on the same street she met Friday night experienced the same thing. We were all walking up and down, the street Friday, night and sharing stories. I know our neighbors on either side of us said they have a foot of water in their basements. Guerrera said as the rain continued to fall earlier Friday, she and her husband checked around their house, lowered the level of water in their pool and made sure their sump pump was working. Everything was fine, but then, after a half hour or so, there was a foot of water in the basement. It was just gushing through the shower and the toilet in the basement. Obviously, the city sewers backed up. It's not pretty. It's sewage. Guerrera said they turned off their power and tried to sleep and by Saturday morning there were only puddles left. Now, I'm mopping and I'm doing my best because we can't reach anyone. We were on the phone for an hour and a half with our insurance company and couldn't reach anyone. Finally, my husband filed a claim online. Guerrera also said she tried to contact five different companies that deal with flood damage, but hasn't heard back from any of them. The city of Montreal held a press briefing around 3.30 p.m. Saturday afternoon to provide an update on the flooding. The mayor of the Verdun district and responsible for the ecological transition and the environment, Marie-André Mauger, said some municipal infrastructures are still closed, but the entire road network is open, as are all the STM bus lines, we can say the situation is under control, but it is not 100% back to normal, Mauger said. We know it was a trying evening, a morning, a difficult day for many home and business owners where, unfortunately, there was flooding. Martin Gilbalt, head of operations for the Montreal Fire Department, said at the press conference firefighters received 614 calls between 6.30 p.m. Friday and noon Saturday. Among them, 135 concerned flooding. Firefighters also used boats on three occasions to help motorists stuck in their vehicles. I am the Estiloron Borough, an underpass on Marcel Lauren Boulevard, just north of Henri Barassa Boulevard, was still flooded as of late Saturday afternoon. The flooding blocked access to the most heavily used roadway in the borough and had a ripple effect that caused unusual weekend traffic jams on other roads in Estiloron. Water often accumulates at the same underpass after heavy rainfalls. Farther east, the municipality of L'Assomption received 130 mm of rain, in the Lanaudier region in Trois-Rivières, 103 mm, in Morrissey. On the Utaway side, the Gatineau sector received 70 to 100 mm of water, and in the eastern townships about 76 mm of rain fell in Sherbrooke. In an interview Friday night, meteorologist Michelle Fleury of Environment Canada said the lower North Shore could expect a lot of rain Saturday morning, furthermore, the rain should stop midday Saturday in parts of the Gaspasi. We are expecting between 30 and 50 millimeters particularly in the south of Gaspasi, she explained. The storm then heads toward Newfoundland. In the western portion of Newfoundland, high amounts are expected, i.e. nearly 50 millimeters of rain, Fleury added. Northern New Brunswick is also expected to receive an accumulation of 30 to 40 millimeters of rain before the end of Saturday morning. The return of good weather is expected on Sunday, and sometimes even as early as Saturday afternoon, for all of the affected regions, the remains of Debbie also caused a lot of trouble in Quebec.